Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Four, six, and ten. Something here has completed. There could be something significant about the last four to six months, four years, six years, but something here is finally over the Ten of Swords here. Some of you could have been in a long cycle for the last four, six, even up to 10 years. The lovers is here though. It's like you're being told right now to make a, uh, um, a choice about a situation. And I feel like you're being advised right now to follow your heart in whatever this situation is. I know this could be a bit difficult for some to be trusting and to follow your heart because the Ten of Swords is here. There's been some type of heartache, pain, deception, or betrayal, but this is over. It's like there's some kind of toxic situation in your life that has finally ended. If there's a new opportunity, this could be a relationship for some of you. This has to do with business matters with the Emperor here. Something that affects your overall stability, your security, your home life. You could have for some time not been feeling very um, ambitious. It's probably been hard for you to be assertive because of this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the very first card. So it's a, it's a strong message here that something is over. But it's also a very strong message that something has for sure left you feeling very mentally exhausted, feeling drained, defeated, backstabbed, like feeling at rock bottom. But you're coming right out as the emperor and then the lovers. Here's the king of pentacles. Wow. The empress, the ten of cups, Ooh. and the four of wands. Death card. This is like the, this is a repeating message. It's like the last three readings I've done have all been saying something really, really big, really great, really amazing is here. The emperor. For some, too, this emperor, like I said, this could be your energy or someone else's energy. For some, this even represents um, a person of authority in your life, someone that you love, honor, cherish, respect. Could be a parental figure, a mentor, um, whomever. But somebody here could have also been threatening something with a person's stability or security. This could be a lover for some or somebody. Uh, th there's this ultimatum here with this lovers. It's, it's, it's very hard for me to get past this energy. There's some type of major choice here and it's been very unfair or there's an ultimatum. The king of pentacles here and the emperor. So the king of pentacles and the emperor being out here. This is two very, very strong masculine energies. You have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and then the Tower. This is a life-changing decision that's going to bring you like crazy, crazy, just joy, peace, happiness, abundance. It's like somebody is coming in, like Spirit is sending somebody in to walk this journey with you. You're not going to have to fight something alone. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Magician, the Six of Cups, Eight of Cups here. You you had to make a, a difficult decision, I feel, to walk away from something. Some of you are walking away from an emperor energy. Like I said, this could be a friend, family member, lover. But it's like there was a situation. For some of you, this emperor could be someone who has power, control, wealth. They have a great deal of security or stability. But you could have been extremely um, hurt by this person or this situation. For some of you, it's like you're being, there's this blackmail-like energy. Or it's a lot of mind games and manipulation. I don't know why this energy is just like, it's so, bam, just in your face. It's a very overwhelming um, type of energy here. It's like this energy, it feels like, like something is like suffocating in this room almost. For some of you, I literally just heard, you could be dealing with somebody that carries like a python-like spirit. Like this has been slow. 
this this deception, this betrayal, whatever this is, it's like wrapping itself. It, it just wrapped around you. That's what I'm saying. Like four, six, ten months, ten years, even where something has just been wrapping. It's just been coiling around you. It's like somebody was literally trying to take the all of the love, all of the life, all of the light out of you. And this was slow. This this wasn't like a like embrace for impact is just gonna hit you like no this was slow it was methodical it was yeah very much premeditated very much malicious type of energy this is like for some of you you have if you work for a company especially if it's somewhat of a small company somebody is withholding money withholding hours you know, they make you work every single holiday. They won't allow you to be off on the weekends. They they won't let you go to, you know, family events. Like, this is somebody who just sat back and purposely, I mean, it's like just tried to gut punch you. I'm sorry. Like, there's a very beautiful energy here, but this is what you're coming out of. And it's like you're going to be able to really appreciate this type of peace, balance, and harmony in your life because of what you're going through what you're coming out of this type of python like leviathan spirit like energy here because it's been so heavy you don't even recognize how heavy it's been it's sort of like um uh, what i'm what i'm sensing right now it's like when you've been walking for a long time um on hard surfaces just standing on your feet you ever notice how when you finally take those shoes off and i know the ladies know especially if you wear heels it's like your your feet they become so what it's like your feet become numb to the fact that they're uncomfortable after so long but as soon as you take the shoes off they hurt so bad because your your body the nerves in your body are like processing the fact that that weight or that restriction is no longer there some of you right now you could be feeling almost shocked this is it, it's a shock even to your nervous system they're like whoa there's an energy that's been around you. For some, I don't know if this is like an entity that's been at you, a hex curse or whatever, but there has been an energy around some of you that has been so heavy. And I, I'm sorry, but it's like I can't even move away from this energy. I mean, I want to force myself to, but this is somebody who absolutely abused their power. For some of you, this definitely was some type of, and I'm tr I don't want to bring it up so often, but somebody did something for sure to block your path in life. Like this person did something to block love, light, like didn't want you to have any kind of awareness. Um, this was also that I'm this this is like a, a sadistic person almost. Like somebody here has taken so much like pride and pleasure in bringing you pain and here you are now it's like spirit is still telling you move with love move with compassion because you do have a very deeply emotional commitment that's coming this emperor energy this person they they did a number on you, whether it's a lover, friend, friend, family member, whomever. But then, okay, you have the King of Pentacles and the Empress. Somebody has has um, it's like a battle. There's been a battle here to be in in your life. Somebody won that battle. Somebody who wants to be successful, King of Pentacles. They want to be stable, successful. Um, this person has accomplished something spiritually that's going to allow them to finally have access and to have a future with this, this Empress energy. Or I don't know because it's this Emperor or this King of Pentacles. The Emperor and the Empress definitely go together. The Four of Wands is here and the Ten of Cups. This is a, an amazing union here. Okay, this king of pentacles, it doesn't matter if it's the emperor or the king of pentacles. You're destined to be with, with somebody here. It could be this emperor. It could be that you have an emperor that's coming in and they're helping you to put an end to a situation that you've had with this king of pentacles person. 
So this King of Pentacles person could be someone who promised you security and stability. Um, they this person could could have already been married or whatever. Because now that I look at the, the way the cards are, it's like the Empress here, the lovers, the King of Pentacles, and then the Empress. The Empress and the Emperor go together. But I mean, sometimes the Emperor is not the Divine Mask, and sometimes the Emperor is simply just someone that has a lot of power and control. But it could be for, specifically for a lot of you, this King of Pentacles, though, that has been blocking you. The more I look at it, this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Five of Pentacles, yeah. This person here, this person used ma magic to keep you stuck. And what they wanted was for you to be stuck on the past. The Six of Cups. And you finally walked away from this. You had no choice. Because the, the, the Three of Pentacles here, the, with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, most likely it's this King of Pentacles person that's been blocking you. Um... I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This person didn't bring an offer. They never brought an offer to you. And I feel like here with the Ace of Cups, each time you receive a new offer, or now that you have the presence of a new offer here in your life, now this person is trying to come in and, and completely sabotage it. Here's the King of Wands, the King of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. See, it's like Archangel Michael here is assisting someone with coming towards you with love. This King of Wands could be this Emperor energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They're coming towards you with, with a, a, an open heart and they're helping you to put an end to a situation here. Whoever this new masculine is, this person, um, this person takes action. And they have this King of Swords energy. They're very logical. But this is a very wise person. This person cares a lot about being fair, doing things with integrity. And they're keeping their eye on, like the King of Wands, they look at things like the bigger picture. Seven of Pentacles, and they decided to invest in this according to divine guidance. This person understands the true meaning of life, of love, of loyalty. Yeah. And the Page of Swords here. This person, they could see that there was some kind of challenge here that you were facing. Seven of Wands, Five of Wands. They knew about the conflict. So this person, they 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 had the confidence to stand in their own personal power. It, it's like to stand in the gap for you. So a lot of you, you have a person here, like a divine um, lover. It's a soulmate. This person, like they're they're standing in the gap. They're protecting you from something from your past that has literally been like traumatizing you. The magician, yeah. Somebody did magic or mind because i'm hearing mind control manipulation or something you were dealing with in your past the six of cups a very very powerful magician this could be like an occultist of some sort um this person caused so many so much hardship for you and it could be because you walked away from this person the knight of cups in the reverse so this person is like they decided to punish you because you walked away from them. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So if this person ever had love for you, they got to the point where they're like, they have no love for you at all. Like this person's love for you, it turned into to hate. So like pure hatred. But I mean the four of wands and the ten of cups. There's a, a sudden change here with the tower. And you're like you're breaking out of this. This person wrapped something around you, some some type of energy or whatever they did. Eight of Pentacles, and they worked very hard to do this. This person, I'm telling y'all, like this card, it, it even says, "Take great pride in your excellent work." Whoever this dark magician is, this person took a lot. They took great pride. And the work that they had put into 
blocking your life. This person, like, they sit back like, ha, ha, ha. I mean, like, when I tell you very devilish, like, ha, ha, ha. Like, I got you. I mean, this person, like, they just sit back and monitor everything. They're like, yeah, I'm just going to destroy that on purpose. And they, lo they love to do it. I mean, they love it. This is this energy is sickening to me. Like I'm not I'm not joking. This person loves this. When I say sadistic, it's an understatement. This person is disgusting. The Ace of Swords. That's the, what I'm saying is the truth. Five of Cups. I'm telling you, this person for you to be sad, disappointed, feeling left out. They love it. But it's a shift coming, the will, a new beginning. Your delays are over. This person, they, like, they can't do this or this entity. It, this, this, is, this doesn't feel like a person. I mean, this person, th there could be something attached to this, but it's sickening for a human being to, to feel this type of way about another human being, about any, anyone. It's like this this has to be a demon. New beginnings though. <sighs> Judgment is here. It's like God, it's like enough is enough. I tell you, some of you have been suffering for like 10 years. And I feel like if this was a relationship, it wasn't even a long relationship. This relationship could have lasted maybe 10 months <laughs> for some of you. And and I, and I don't even think it, for a lot of you, it was an actual relationship. This feels like a situationship just gone wrong, gone bad. And somebody has literally spent like four to six years just taunting you, torturing you, trying to do everything to traumatize you. I mean, there's a new beginning here. It's just whatever. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Good fortune. Knight of Swords. You have somebody coming in that's going to be very strong. They're intelligent. They're committed. Um, this person is logical. And, and for some of you, it's, it's good for you to be with a more logical person. Because this is someone that they're going to be fair. Um a person being logical sometimes it's going to be safer for you emotionally because this is the kind of person if they get upset they're not going to decide that they're going to destroy you um whoever this past person is or whatever with all these cups out here six of cups eight of cups nine of cups five of cups this person gets very very emotional this person could be they could have um earth and water in their chart scorpio like this person could have like Capricorn and Scorpio or like Taurus and Scorpio in their chart. I mean, like very, very dark, very bullheaded. I'm hearing. And and also Vinda, it's that like Scorpion on the energy, like that Scorpion. This person is gonna they like they will sit back and wait to strike. And it's it's a quiet, silent, but but deadly attack from this person. Strength. You're going to be, wherever this new energy is, you're going to really be able to trust this person. This person is going to see your strength through your vulnerability. How kind you are. Because through all of this that you've gone through, it's like you're still being advised to choose love. You're going to be rewarded for this, the high priestess, yeah. Whatever the situation is in your life, it definitely strengthened you. This is what made you the high priestess. Going through this situation, it made you much more confident in your spiritual, your psychic abilities, your ability to go within, your ability to trust yourself. Five of Swords, yep. 
it's, it has taught you how to walk away from things that don't serve you. And how to not be attached to the outcome of things. Some of you, when it comes to this past person or whoever this is, you were so attached to the idea, the potential, the outcome, what you had dreamed and imagined and trying to force it. And, and I feel like God and the universe kept coming in to intervene to say no, because this situation is it's going to destroy you. It's going to knock your light completely out. Yeah, three of swords. Five of swords, three of swords. And then you have a person out here too that is trying so hard to punish you because of your strength as a high priestess. Somebody is so furious about the fact that you are awakened, you're aware, you're woke, like you, you're strong, you're you're committed to yourself and your goals and your future. Somebody is pissed. I mean, like they are so mad about this. Five of swords, three of swords. I mean, the first card, the ten of swords. And this person is doing a lot with your emotions and the mind. That's the reason why for some of you, whoever the, the like the new person is that comes into your life or just the new energy that you're taking on, it's going to be much more logical. Much more logical. Because I feel like a lot of people here, if, if this is like a, a narcissist and empath type paradigm here, your emotions and your empathy has gotten you into some, a very, very dark situation with somebody or several people. But you're going to grow. You, you're growing from whatever this past situation is. <sighs> Queen of Swords. Yeah. You have to put your guard up now. And you have to make a decision. You have to take your own sword out. And cut all ties. All cords of attachment. To something or someone. Or place. Whatever this is. Because you, you've had too many heartbreaking experiences here. Some of you may be choosing right now to even focus on like your career and your finances instead of love. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that by choosing to focus really on yourself, your mental health, your health, fitness, overall wellness, um, your spiritual journey, self-love journey, whatever it is. As long as you're choosing now to love yourself and to not be closed off to love, whatever is for you is going to come in. Yep. Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles and here is the star. And the King of Cups. It's exactly what I just said. When you choose to just not focus on this person, this place, thing, or situation, your money is going to quickly improve. There's a karmic blockage here. See, when you have a karmic person around you or in your energy, because of the disappointment and the regret, and the heartache and the pain, you will attract low vibing things. Some of you, you feel like everything is okay, but it's like life could be so much better. And you will notice that when you get somebody out of your energy. The Ace of Pentacles, a star, and then the King of Cups. It's like your money is going to drastically improve, like luck, blessings, abundance, opportunities. Good things are just going to start coming. It's going to be like, wow, this is such a dream come true. And then, boom, the King of Cups comes in. And then you have here peace. It says, let go and let God. Release the past. Whoever this past person is for, this person was meant to teach you like your most <laughs> critical lessons. King of Michael. This the King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. The Devil. Five of Pentacles. So again, the, the King of Swords is here. This is somebody who's based everything on morals, values, principles, integrity. So 
So I think that whoever this new person is for some of you, it's a wise investment because they're going to believe in the same things that you believe in. And by the two of you standing together, it's going to cancel out whatever this toxic energy is from your past. Some of you like right now, you really need to get something or someone from around you off your mind, cleanse, clear, detox, something. Because somebody is sending an energy to you to really make you lose your confidence and cause you to self-sabotage the five of wands. This is someone who is like, some of you, it's, it's a person that they're like spiritually trying to blackmail you and compete with you. And all you need to do at this time is just simply withdraw. Like, Somebody is trying to compete with you where they, they don't even compare. But and they know that, but they're sending this type of this energy to you to make you think that you have to keep suffering and you don't. The chariot is here. Yeah. You need to move forward. There, there's a lot here about career advancement. <laughs> the wheel. And the hangman. And here's the sun. These are all majors. So this is a huge turning point. December 10th could have been significant. December 10th, December 19th, October 19th, October 12th. The number 10, but the sun is here. The will. Having this epiphany, this awakening... Realizing that there is something better is going to change everything. Because what it is, is somebody has attacked like your crown chakra and your emotions or whatever to make you think that there is nothing better. And so you've just been in this tool source energy just up like this fork in the road. But now you need to move forward. Epiphany, you're having an epiphany now. King of Wands, Nine of Cups. Some of you have been um, stuck between two different lovers for a long time. And I feel like now something is shifting and changing where you're finally going to see like, okay, between this emperor and this king of pentacles, you you know now who you're supposed to be with. And I feel like it's this emperor. For some of you, this is like a fire sign person. I'm getting like fire and um fire and air. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, strong Libra, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the Emperor, Aries. This person this new person for some of you, they're very direct. Um they could even come off as detached, but they're fair. You see, for some of you, because of what you've been through, it's going to be easier for you to trust this person. I just heard that it's not going to be easy to adjust to this person in the beginning because they're not super emotional. This is going to throw a lot of you off. They're not very emotional, but this person, they're the king of cups. They have emotions. They're warm. They're generous. They're nice, but they're very emotionally balanced. But see... This person, that's the reason why for a lot of you, they're able to protect you, especially in the spirit, because this is the kind of person, no matter what's happening in the physical or in the spiritual, they don't rush to make decisions. And I always say this about the king of swords and the queen of swords. When they make a decision, it's absolute, it's final. And, the, and I, trust me, they weigh every single pro, con, like everything they've analyzed they've assessed they've evaluated once they make a final judgment that's it if this person decides to be in a relationship with you that's it if this person decides to protect and defend your honor that's it like this is this is loyalty and love and some of you have been torn because there's been some kind of hex or curse or spell where you've still been wondering, is somebody else your your person? They're not. This King of Wands is here with the Nine of Cups. Now you're saying like, oh, wow. And it's an epiphany. 
you're realizing, oh wow, this this really is my person. Yeah, see, the seven of swords in the world. This this lie, what whatever this web of confusion is that's been here for so long for a lot of you, it, the world is over. Something here has come full circle, it's over. Then you have here the Ace of Wands. You can now be very passionate about something because what Spirit is showing you now is that something in your life, it is completely over. Whatever, this is like a python that's been wrapped around you. And now I'm telling you, it's like it, this thing has been, this, this snake has been like sliced and diced. It's over. Seven of Cups here. It's a passion new beginning. You have a lot of different options and opportunities coming your way. But this passion new beginning, you don't need to overanalyze or overthink this. The temperance is here. Once again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Sagittarius will be temperance. But this is somebody who uses self-control. They're willing to have patience. They're willing to forgive. They're willing to compromise. They're a healer. They're an alchemist. They're like they have the energy of like a shaman, eight of swords. And again, what this person is doing is they're coming into your life and they're putting an end to a lot of this heartbreak, pain, suffering, and betrayal. The ten of swords is the first card out, but whatever difficult situation is, it's finally over. Eight of wands. And then the three of cups. And then the justice card. Yeah. You're 100% going towards your happily ever after. This is like the third reading that said this. So I don't know. Somebody, <laughs> some of you watching the channel, I'm, I'm sure you're wondering like, okay, well, when is it coming? It's absolutely coming. You're, you're stressed out. This message keeps coming out because some of you, I'm assuming you're not believing it. Right now, focus on your career. Focus on yourself. You don't have to worry about this coming towards you. It's coming. Or or it's, for some of you, it's already here. But unfortunately, like you haven't really been able to see it. There's some kind of spell work or something that has been done here. This level of confusion, nothing about it is normal. This is some heavy brainwashing, manipulation, spell work or something. For a lot of you, you literally, you, you've been like wrestling with some kind of demonic stronghold or like an entity. This is not a battle here of flesh and blood at all. This, this is something, this is a spirit, a very oppressive, dark spirit. But I'm telling you, um... There, there's this intervention here. And to be completely honest, the energy that we see that's coming in helping you out of this situation, for some of you, this could be a lover or this could actually be like a spirit guide for some of you. It's like a spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor. But there's like, there, there is love here. But this, who, even if this is a spirit guide, they really, really, really love you. Some of you are really starting to connect with like Archangel Michael. I mean, like, be really connected. I'm seeing this now because all these swords are out here. The emperor, the king of swords. For some of you, this is a divine masculine. But for some of you, you, you really are starting like a very, very close relationship with an angel and guide. And it may not be Archangel Michael for all of you. Um, but this is a, this is a developing connection. Like it seems like I'm saying with somebody like you've been crying out for help and it's coming to you in the form of like a spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor. For some of you, it's a romantic partner. For some, it's, it's all of the above. Like your spiritual team, they're like all around you. And it makes sense because, yeah, for some of you, this is like an avenging angel. You know what I'm getting, though? 
What in the world was the name of this show? There was a show that used to come on. I'm talking, this show came on maybe 20 years ago. It was a show about angels. But angels, you guys, um, <laughs> like earth angels, I, I, I strongly, strongly believe. In fact, I know like an, an angel can literally show up in the form of anybody, right? Some of you have a person in your life. I don't know what is going on. Like, I don't know if everybody is just super emotional right now. But the last reading, I, I literally, like, I, I almost started crying. When I turned the camera off, I cried. I want to cry because this is so beautiful. I mean, it's, it's real, real love. Like, it's, a, it's overwhelming. It, and this is, I can tell the difference in these two energies. I can tell this heavy Python-like spirit, spirit. But this love, this light, it's it's like it's heavier than that dark energy. But it's like a a safety net. Like it, you're wrapped up in the cocoon of this being. If this is a person, this person is so divine, so high ranking. You you have no idea. Like this person, I'm telling you, the same way a person can have like a dark entity to work with them, this person literally like angels will use this person to do things. It's making me think of um the movie. I'm saying like the movie Hancock. I think that's what it's called, like a Will Smith, like where he could just stop a car with his hand. Like he had these supernatural abilities. Some of you have a person in your life, but this person, they're so, so high ranking and divine that literally if you were in danger, this person, the way they are connected to, and it's a certain, it's a certain angel. For some, for all of you, it's not Archangel Michael. But this person, like an angel can literally like take over this person to protect you. And the only reason why a lot of you are seeing this person. Oh, this is deep. Your human eyes, for some of you, if you don't have. Um, like if you're not, you know, a seer, you haven't gotten to that point yet. If you were to see this person in, in, the, in the spirit, if this is a person for some of you. They will be like a giant. And this energy has come out a few times over the last few months, the last year. It's, been, it's like this person is some type of galactic being. You see them as a human, like most of us. But in the spirit, this person. Whew, mm. I mean, it's just like, whew, it's so big, like the energy. It's massive. It has to be an angel. And I have chills like all over me. I mean, I feel chills like down to my, my, my toes. <laughs> like this it, it's like this this person, this angel can can feel when you're stressed, when you have any kind of fear or anxiety. I'm just like taking a bath right now. I mean, whoever this person is though from your past or whomever, this person has to have been working with some type of entity 
because now the, the energy that has stepping in now it's it's definitely like some kind of avenging angel and like i said if it's a friend a family member a lover or somebody around you they're protecting you because of who this person is spiritually it's like my my stomach is like caving in i i'm serious I'm hearing, um, it's like hard to read, like the song, um, Monica, Angel of Mine, like you have a, an angel that has been assigned to you. And I'll be honest, I'm, I'm really struggling to see, to truly understand, is this a person around you that is just very high ranking in the spirit or is this just an angel or for some or both? Maybe this is a person that works very closely with an angel. I don't know. I mean, it's very clear here, though, that you have the emperor, the lovers, the king of pentacles, the empress. And then, boom, the, it says, the card literally says, change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. And then the four of wands and the ten of cups. This a lot of you, it's a lover. But there's a presence of this lover and this angel. But this lover is a very high-ranking divine being. So that's the reason why it's, it's so intense. You know what? Oh my gosh. For some of you, this lover, they're calling on some type of divine protection. They're working with this angel. It's almost like this person, oh my gosh, oh, this is so intense. It's like this person is like, oh my gosh, when I can't be there with divine feminine or divine masculine, like, God, angels, please protect them, please protect Like somebody is just constantly praying, please protect them, please protect them. To the point, like, if this person, if they have to leave you for a moment, and this person, it's interesting because this person, to me, it feels like this is a person, like, they have, they have anxiety when they're not around you. They're like, please, like, this person, they've been assigned as your protector. But if they're not around you, they're like, they're calling on the angel, step in. It's like, okay, listen, I, I gotta, I'll be gone from... Divine feminine, divine masculine for the next six hours. I need all hands on deck. Step in. And this person, the connection that they have to the divine, to to their spiritual team, your spirit, like when they call on divine help and guidance, it shows up. Wow. You know what I tell you? It's like. I kid you not, it feels hard to breathe and these chills have not gone anywhere. I think this is like a spiritual answers deck. Let's just pull some of these, but this has to do with love and with protection. But some of you, this lover, I mean, they're very, very, very high ranking, which means you're very high ranking too to even be assigned this, this type of divine lover. And I did a reading maybe about two weeks ago, though. There's angels protecting this connection at all times. That's the reason why whatever this demonic stronghold of this entity is, it, it can't do anything. There's way too much protection. I don't know who you guys called in or how you called them in or what happened here, but it's like a whole army of angels. It's just Surrounding it, seriously. Look at that. But what did I say? It literally says, just ask. Strength. Wow. And then this is what I, what I mentioned earlier, self-sabotage. See? Hope. Support. Memories. New beginnings. Yeah. You have these memories that cause you to self-sabotage constantly. And these angels and these guides or ancestors or whatever, 
they're standing around you. Look at all those hands holding their little egg. It's like you're so precious. You are so, so precious. For some of you, this is like, I don't know what, what you've done, but you've unlocked something with your spiritual team. Or if this is a divine union, it's like, your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors, and their spirit guides, angels, ancestors, like they're all coming together. Like, I don't know, somebody here has like, yeah, I'm, I hate to keep saying this, but like the intensity, I feel like my head is about to pop off. And these, like, all these hands are different colors. I feel like this is from lifetimes and lifetimes and memories. And look at that card. You have so many memories of different things. These are like angels, ancestors, guides. This card, it's like a key is here. There's a candle. There's pictures. You're remembering so much. It says your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So this is, you know, of course, like a reason, season, a lifetime. You know what I'm getting, though, from this? Some of you, you had a person in your life. They was in your life for a reason, a season. Some of you, it's when it literally says, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals, for some of you, whoever this person is that has really been hurting you, they keep coming back into your life or this energy because there's a lesson that you need to learn about letting go. There's a lesson that you need to learn about letting go and about actually, like you have to learn something about yourself. And it's also too like God was pretty much like allowing you to kind of be broken down, if I have to be honest, so that you will finally find the strength to reach out and ask for help. Because this is not a, a battle that you can fight alone. You're never alone. It says, just as there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team. And all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the overwhelming feeling that I have right now, I'm like, there's no way this could be just one person. It can't be one person. It can't be two. It's like a whole army of these high, high ranking beings. It says, your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they are, if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Self-sabotage. And then here's new beginnings. Oh my God. Y'all, some of you, if I have to be honest, y'all have all these different um people or members of your spiritual team that something really, really bad must have recently happened behind the scenes for all these beings to show up. It's like you have angels that are hopping literally. I'm, it's like they're they're like hopping in the bodies of everybody around you. What I'm saying for some of you, y'all don't understand Whatever somebody had targeted to do to you, I'm talking like these angels, they're hopping in the bodies of your neighbors, co-workers, friends, family. It does not matter. They're making sure 
this is a lot of very, very, very supernatural type of energy and activity that's happening. And you just need to have a lot of faith and courage about this new beginning. No matter what it looks like right now, because there's still this lingering energy coming around you of self-sabotage. It says when you learn to let go of your when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's the inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So like I said, for some of you, somebody or a group has been so invested in causing this nine of swords, stress, fear, and anxiety. Like somebody has just planted so many seeds of doubt. And it feels like somebody did something to to really try to strip you completely away from you, like to close down your spiritual eyes. And that's the reason why all these guys are stepping in. They're like, it's okay. If you're blind right now, don't worry about it. Like we got we we got you. It, it's like they're stepping in saying, even if you can't see, if you can't walk, we'll carry you. If you can't see, we will guide you. Oh my God. <sighs> I got to get out of this because when I tell you like the pressure around my head. This is intense. But for your spiritual team to come in like this. And I, and I have to say this always happens. It's like 12. It's a after midnight. So... My readings and the energies are always super intense later at night <laughs> for me. Um, they had to come in because for some of you, you were in real danger. I don't even want to get into the, the more negative side of things, but if you've seen my readings over the last few weeks, four to six weeks especially, you already know the very first card was the Ten of Swords. For some of you, somebody, they wanted you out of here. And your spiritual team was like, ah, uh, the what? Oh no, not today. Not today, not any day. Like somebody tries to call judgment on your life. And this was blocked, and now like something is coming in in a in a very major way. And it feels like for some of you, going back to love, it's like for, for some of you, God is putting a person in your life. Okay. The way it's being explained, God is putting somebody in your life, whether it's a friend, family member, lover. For a lot of you, it's a lover. God feels like you need a constant companion that has a type of frequency and vibration that will attract um, these high-ranking like, spiritual beings. This person's energy and your energy combined together it will bring in like this type of pure love and protection. So it's like you're be you're being assigned a constant companion. It's showing up to you as a person, but it's really like an angel. Or this is the kind of person who they they have the kind of energy that's so pure they can be used by angels. Or this is you. It could be you and this person. But this is all being divinely guided. When I tell you, it's so much like <laughs> pressure around my head, forehead, and my eyes right now. It feels like my head is about to explode. I kid you not. It feels like something is just going straight through my crown. I don't, I don't think there's nothing else to say. Um, strength. Have the strength to just ask. Hope. Hope. Self-sabotage. Yeah. self love and vulnerability. It's time for you to finally have self-love. To love on yourself. Feel good about yourself. Dream talk. 
this your spiritual team they're talking to you in your dreams and the reason why is like I said in the reading earlier you have people who have been trying to commit a lot of spiritual crimes against you in the dream state, in the astral, in the spiritual realm. Some of you right now, you're awakening, but your eyes are not open enough for you to really see exactly what's going on in the spirit realm. But these spiritual beings, these galactic beings, ancestors, God, whatever, they know exactly what's going on and they are not playing about it. You have here a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So some of you, you your mother or a mother figure this person can possibly like if this is your mother or grandmother, whomever, they can feel, if they're still here, they can feel that you're going through something. This person is protecting you in the spirit. Well, they are being used at times by spiritual beings to, to protect you. This also could be just like Mother Earth as well. It's like everything is just working right now in tandem. Like everything is connected. It's it's working for your your greatest and highest good. Take a moment. Yeah, and breathe. And then you have here hello from heaven. Intuitive nudges. Yeah, some of you, this is a mother figure. And it doesn't have to be your mother. Um, This could be a spirit guide even or pass on a loved one that's, you're, you're the daughter to this, ooh, being. I don't feel like this is a person, y'all. I'm I'm being honest. And as I said earlier, I'm just like, well, I'm I'm picking up like Archangel. Like, this is different. This this for some of you is this is for some of you, this is a woman. I'm hearing a lot of names but yeah like I'm gonna do the crisis I'm gonna take a moment and breathe <laughs> because yeah this this is a woman for some of you it's a it's a very divine being or goddess or something um yeah and you need to show gratitude to this 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 energy 